Hi guys. So this is my get up. I look a hot mess, but that's okay. Um, just some perfume out there. But I am on my way to the hospital. I'm kind of whispering because it is really early. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I have to be there at 5.30. So that's where I'm headed now. This is all that I'm wearing to the hospital. The flops, pajama pants, and a top. And yeah. The men's in here if you guys can see them. So they can check and make sure they're okay to take. Even though the one doesn't have iron in it. They don't they don't want any oils or anything like that so I don't have any chapstick on no lotion I'm gonna this is just so greasy gross Sure, it's really killing me. I don't know if I could walk up the house with this on. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we just want to give you thanks for this day, Lord, that um, we can come to you and first ask for forgiveness of our sins. Lord, it cleanses us of all unrighteousness. Lord, we pray that you will guide the hands of the doctors, the nurse, um, that anyone that Caroline has to come in contact with today that you will bless her going in and coming out, that the surgery will be more than a success, that she will heal quickly and be able to return to her normal functions as planned, that the surgery will do what it is supposed to do, and that you will bless her uh, days ahead of her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Six dollars in advance. Let me see if I got six dollars. We are here. Thank you. Doesn't have the name on here. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. People here this early only here for surgery. Once in a while to visit somebody, but what's your first name, huh? I'm Caroline, okay. yes. You could just come and visit us if you like. We're here literally all the time, so. Okay. You're like, sure. Okay. And you did for A 327.94. Number for two. Are you staying with? Right? Yeah, you're staying with. Right. So when you go to the waiting room, that's the number you'll look for in place of the name. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's also your pass and the white one's a food voucher for you for the cafeteria. And did you want a newspaper? Yes. There you go. Thank you so, so much. So you just need to head into admissions, and they'll give you some paperwork and a wristband, and then come back out to us. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
So I'm just waiting for emissions to get checked in. I'm so ashy. My lips are chapped. They told me not to put any oils or lotions right. on. Absolutely. So I'm all ashy. Absolutely not. <laughs> I took a shower and I was. Yeah, that's why I, I did it last I was night. Dry as a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It took me nothing like that. I don't know how I feel. What, being dry as a bone or just <laughs> <laughs> Both, but being, it's so dirty. Why is that window so dirty? It's on the outside. I hate hospitals. It's two things, one on the outside. My, oh. My blood pressure, temperature, what's the other thing? Oh, and my weight. You almost don't have any blood pressure. Why? You said it was one something over 71 or something. Yeah, I know. That's, it's always like that. That's because I yell all the time. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I want to keep it like that, too, because everybody in the Smith family has high blood pressure. Even my dad has high blood pressure, too. That's not happening to me. <laughs> yeah, that was one of my issues with the surgery. I had blood pressure. That's how I come on with an intensive care. Dang. So what they give you, just like hypertension medication or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they did prescribe this stuff? After that, yeah. But Sticker on your bracelet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And when we're through talking, the gown opens in the back, not the front, and you have to take off the bra. Do you have underwear on? Yeah. That has to come off too. Everything has to come off. Jewelry, no, underwear, bras, everything. The only thing you can wear is the gown okay. and the slippers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In your own words, tell me what you're here for today. Vertical sleeve gastrectomy, astronomy, ESG. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Oh, I'm having like a hernia thingy that he's got okay. there fixing. And who is doing that for you? Dr. Hoffman, Aaron Hoffman. Okay. You'll be asked at least two more times before you go into surgery what you're here for. Okay. That's our process to make sure we're doing the correct procedure on the correct patient. Nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> we have to, well, some people say, why do you keep asking? Don't you know what we're doing? We are required to ask at least three times. I like that. <laughs> um, 
When is the last time you had any liquids to drink? Okay, so they're coming for you now? Yeah. Yesterday, before I went to bed at about 10. Okay. And the last time you had any food to eat? Yesterday. In the last month, have you taken any medications at all? No. Not even Tylenol, Motrin, Advil, Aleve. Oh. Okay, yeah. I was on my period, so I had like some generic um, menstrual. Okay, so and what was that? Negative, right? <laughs> 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 well, let me just go through. So every time you, so the eighth thing is, do you, are you going to drive home? Are you going to ride home? Yes. Okay. Just how many pills did you take at a time? Oh, at a time? Yeah. I usually take like one at a time, but like six a day. Yeah. Okay. It's you, baby. I know. I'm not sure. Okay. What is it? <laughs> okay, Dr. Hoffman has ordered a medication for you to prevent blood clots from forming in the veins in your legs. Okay. I'm going to give that to you now. It's okay. given as an injection. It's a very small little needle. I give it to you in the upper leg. Okay. okay. And it's kind of like a bee sting. It's called oh. low monox. So okay. I'm going to have you sit down. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go a little higher on the chart. Can you sit back a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Go up here. Okay. Short shorts. Okay. I've never gotten me to stop. Have you ever been stuck by a bee? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's no worse than that. Okay, be safe. Hold on. Okay. Ooh. Now sometimes that medication burns for a minute afterwards. Okay. I don't tell you that until I give it to you so I don't have to chase you down. <laughs> but it only lasts about a minute. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. Now when she goes over to the holding area, take all her belongings with you because she won't come back to this room. That's what Follow them there. down the hall and the aide will show you where the waiting room is and that's where Dr. Hoffman will come talk to you after surgery. Fine. Okay, Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. Do you have any questions, Carolyn? Not right now. All right. You have a good day and I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you. Right. Whoa. Okay. What's about that petroleum jelly? Why did they do that? What? Put that petroleum jelly on your eyeballs. I don't know. They didn't do that to me. It was so much. I was like blinding. They didn't do that to me, so I don't know why. I gotta get my camera off my screen fixed for that. Um, alright. My cheetahs. So, I am... I've been back since, what, like 1.30? No, no, no. I got finished at... Yeah, when, what time did they say I was in? You were up here by 1 o'clock. But I was done. You were done in recovery at 10. 10. Okay, and I went in like 8.30? Yep. Okay, so surgery time I went at 8.30. And I was done by 10. Mm -hmm. And I had, what's that place that they call it? Just post anesthesia. After you were done, after the surgery? Yeah, we're done. recovery. What's this? Oh, just my room. This is your room, yeah. Okay, so at 10, I went to the recovery room until about 1, 1 1.30. And um, before that, I was in the or in the anesthesia room. Mm -hmm. And they put, they talked to me about all this general anesthesia, asked me all these questions. Um, I think... <laughs> Oh, they gave me something, they call it like a cocktail, which makes me feel relaxed. Mm -hmm. And then they rolled me into the operating room, I'm going to assume it was, and kind of like separated my arms, so I was like in a T-shape, and I think 
the last thing I heard was this arm. <laughs> and then that was it. And then I was in the recovery room in so much pain. It was like excruciating, like so, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it, it was the worst feeling of my life. It's gotten a little bit better. It's um, 3.30 now, and I've gotten, I think when I was in the recovery room, they gave me like three doses of, of um, pain reliever. And then now I'm in my room. Nobody, I don't have a neighbor yet, but now I'm in my room. And they gave me medication at two, and I get to have it every three hours. So I'll, next time it's at five, and I get Tylenol or something like that every six hours. Um, I just got finished walking and using the bathroom. Um, I have I have some um, Jello gelatin right here. I have apple juice. I have to drink out of these cups here. Water, water is in my big tube. I have to do my was a spermometer um, every hour ten times. It has to it has to come up to this level. Um and yeah. Oh and I have an ice pack under underneath here. Right here, which feels like which feels amazing. Probably felt some really groggly. My mouth is really, really, really dry. <sighs> but other than that, I thank God that I'm alive and that it's over. And yeah. Whew. So hopefully they keep saying tomorrow you'll feel better. You'll feel better. I'm really hoping I do because I've never like I've never experienced this in my life. I don't want to ever go through it again. <laughs> this was painful. But anywho, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. And I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I don't have the energy to film um, today. So, bye. and <laughs> I'm back home right now I'm just making my laps around my house to avoid some blood clots so obviously I got cleared to go home um, pain is still definitely wasn't as bad as it was yesterday um, <clears throat> Kind of hard to describe. I'm having a lot of gas pains. <laughs> Definitely a lot of gas pains. So I'm really trying to get that out too with the walking. Um, and then to avoid the blood clots. Um, I'm also having like a lot of, I think it's reflux up here. <clears throat> but I'm so scared to like get it out. I also feel like it's like mucus too. But I'm scared to like, sorry. I'm scared to like cough um because I'm really nervous to like break something but then said you know you would know if you something went wrong you get high blood pressure vomiting bleeding stuff like that I'm still pretty like weak I can only stand for about maybe 20 or 30 minutes I haven't had any problem the only problem that I've had was my medication getting that down for some reason it got like stuck but I've been drinking apple juice broth jello I stole some jellos like at maybe like five or four with the gas and such 
And um, he did give me medicine, but he said, you know, try not to take it. So that's really what I'm trying not to do. I'm not like in so much pain that I need to take it either. So I'm not gonna. And like I said, I had a hard time in the hospital getting it down for some reason. It just wouldn't go down. So. That's what I'm doing now. I'll check back with you guys. Bye, my cheetah. Kind of hard to see me. I don't have great lighting. I'm taking a walk around my house. Okay. Today is day three. And the only pain that I'm having is gas. So <clears throat> I'm waiting for Gas X. I called. I called my doctor's office and they said gas X would be okay, so I'm gonna get some gas X strips. I'm waiting on the <coughs> um my gas has been really, really, really bad. <coughs> um I'm just making laps like in my kitchen, back to my room, out in the front. Um but it has made it's been really uncomfortable and um Nothing else, like, the incisions, like, I'm having a little pain in the stomach area, but really it's only, like, up here, so it's like, I have a big belch I need to let out. <clears throat> um, the doctor's office also says sometimes protein shakes can make you a bit gassy, but I feel like after I take these strips, like, I'll feel, like, so much better. Like, that's really where all my pain is right now. And they say, you know, walking. <laughs> like I said yesterday, it's supposed to help it come out. Um, I get, like, because I'm having whatever it is up here. I get, like, um, like, I'm almost about to throw up, like, I get a really salty mouth, and yesterday I just kind of like spit up or some um last night, but <laughs> this is like <laughs> yeah mm. <laughs> gross. This is like whew, I don't know. This hurts like in it, like you could just feel it, especially in the abdominal diaphragm like area so I'm really just waiting for those right now but I feel okay my walking has sped up a lot and I'm so a little tired I've had some jello from the hospital that I stole some water I have some apple juice left. Um, I want to take the protein, but after she said it could make you gassy, I'll wait until after I have the strips. Then I'll get some protein. I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday, but my doctor said that if everything's going down, then like on Saturday, I can have um, some pudding. So I have some protein pudding in the... Refrigerator. <clears throat> Everything pretty much stays down for me. My sp my spermometer thingy. I'm gotten up to the point where you know it shouldn't be. If I have any other update, I'll come back. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Day three. <sighs> All right. Bye, my cheetahs. It is day five, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day four. Since surgery, day three since I've been discharged, I am naked. I'm about to wash up. I don't think I'm going to take a shower. They did say I could take a shower, but they gave me this, um, I have to show it to you, like this cleanser or whatever, and I'm going to use that because that stink really bad. I haven't really 
like, I don't know. I guess, like, as I'm talking, I don't know if I'm scared to talk because I might rip something or something. I don't know. But I feel, like, exasperated. I don't know why, but... Like, I know I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Definitely is still some pain in there. I haven't weighed myself, I'm going to wait to do that on Monday. And then on Tuesday is my first post-op appointment. So, I was going to show you guys my incisions, but I'm completely naked, so... I'll wait till I have like a bra or something on. Hey, Cheetah, so it is Friday, July 22nd. I am officially five days post op. So I was just counting. Five days post op. Um, today I pooped and I also took a shower. I, I could have took a shower at, like, the first day, but I was really nervous. I'm, like, you know, a nervous Nelly. I've never had this done before, and I didn't want to, like, do anything. So, I took a poop, which has been my first time since Monday. I actually, this morning, I took, I had some tea when I first woke up. It's like I only had one bag. It's by... This company here and I had this orange spice one um just like one of those little cups that they gave me that's all I had of it and also I start taking my vitamins I have to take one more of each let me show you my incisions okay hopefully you guys can see them so I have one up here Hopefully you guys can see that. Ooh. One up here. One right here. One right here. And then one right here. When I do my one week post op, I'll try to get better lighting. <sighs> but that is the four of them right there. Everybody says they look really good. Obviously a little bit still like you know sore or whatever, but um that is them and I'm still putting ice over them. I'll probably put some after this video. Oh here's the light coming through a little bit if you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see that. There it is. So one week on Monday. I'll probably only do whoa. <laughs> I'll probably only do a one week post up um update and then after that it'll be my month. I don't like the consecutives, it's so annoying. Unless something happens, I'll let you guys know. But I'll do the one week and then the one month. Um I did ask about I asked someone else who had this and about the exact exasperation we talk and they said that's normal. It's better than yesterday though. I can sit up longer, but as I'm talking, I'm still getting like exasperated. It's so freaking weird, but um yeah, so this is day five. Um I don't know, Saturday and Sunday, unless anything happens, then I probably won't film. There's you know not much after that. Um, but this is my official five day. And I'll come back to you guys on Monday. But it's really hot today. And I'm going to go sit in front of the fan after my shower. And then I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, my cheetahs.